Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Now I'm gonna show you how um, you guys can do some fun green screen work using iMovie. It's really simple. So to start out with, I just went ahead, you need two things. You need to make sure that you have kind of a groovy background. I downloaded this one from a really cool website. Um, actually, it's a YouTube channel called Z Footage. And um, if you guys subscribe to them, you can just download for free any of their stock footage. I um, mean, they have tons of really kind of weird different backgrounds and videos, some that are stars, ripples, they even have like smiley faces. I saw some that are of nature if you want to dance over a dirt road. So if you want to check them out um, and download, that's really great one to use. And like I said, they are Creative Commons and you can use them for both personal and commercial as long as that you give them credit. So I want to go ahead and download that using YouTube to MP4 and I imported it in. So to do green screen, this is how simple it is. First thing, um, people often do this mistake where they will put down their green screen video first and then they will drop in their background over it and they'll see, oh, my green screen isn't working, it's not clear. I'm going to explain to you why and some common mistakes. So to begin, the video that you always want first on your timeline or at the bottom is your background. So think about it. When you are using green screen, you are putting yourself in front of something or on top of a video, and that's how you would work it on your timeline. So here I have my video, and I want to make it around the same time as my film. So this is 10.4. I'm going to make this last 10.4. And you take your green screen video, and you drag it on top. Okay, when you drag it on top, iMovie will open up in that video overlay settings cutaway, which is always kind of the standard setting. You want to make sure to select very easily green to blue screen, and it will go ahead. Can you really? Oh, let me mute this student directing me. And you'll start to see, here we are, dancing around. Now, one thing that you might notice is this. It's a little bit cloudy up here. There's a lot of shadows in the light. You can clean that up in iMovie. All you have to do is just open it back up, make sure you're in the right area, and this eraser can really help up clean up those shadows. So once you select it, you hit that check mark, which is kind of the enter, and let's go ahead and see how this green screen Dan looks. There we go. I could be in my own music video. So it's pretty straightforward and easy what you can do with your green screen. Um, oftentimes people ask if they can put more than one green screen on effect on top of a background. In iMovie you can, you just kind of have to use that workaround that I talked about in my cloning video which says you have to export it and then re-import it in to apply another green screen effect because in iMovie there's really only two timelines. There's not more than one, let's say with a program like Final Cut Pro or um, Premiere Pro. So I hope this helps you out and um, having fun with your green screen. I can't wait to see what kind of videos you guys produce. Good luck.